Hello, I am Professor Ifyok Otong of the University of South Wales in the United Kingdom. The inherent capacity of satellites for broad area coverage makes them an indispensable component of the suite of communication technologies needed to finally deliver the dream of broadband anytime, anywhere on Earth. In 2016, we are on the verge of a data transmission deluge arising from smart homes and cities, driverless vehicles and connectivity for billions of sensors and functional objects and assets, which is what is commonly referred to as Internet of Things. Around the world, there's a huge and growing appetite for data-rich multimedia services, including video on the move to billions of small mobile devices, smartphones, and fixed terminals. This contributes in no small measure to the explosion in data consumption which we have witnessed in recent years. Just three geostationary satellites placed in geostationary orbit can provide reliable communication to all locations on Earth except in the extreme northern and southern latitudes. And a constellation of interlinked low Earth orbiting satellites delivers a truly global coverage, including the extreme latitude regions of the Arctic and Antarctica. Satellite communication enables full information transmission and connectivity on the move on land, air and sea and is often the only solution in inaccessible locations that are difficult to reach by terrestrial means. Imagine that passengers on the ill-fated Malaysia Airline Flight 370 that disappeared on 8th March 2014 were able to send text and video messages during their flight. The mystery of what happened to the aircraft might have been easier to solve. A fully satellite-integrated global telecom network enables smart mobile devices to remain always connected anytime, anywhere on Earth by automatically switching between Wi-Fi in hotspots, mobile data in areas with adequate terrestrial communication provision, and satellite data in remote or inaccessible locations such as mid-air or mid-ocean. Satellite communication services are generally higher priced than their terrestrial counterparts due to the high cost of satellite ownership. Also, the portable devices such as handheld telephone units used for direct satellite access tend to be bulkier and aesthetically less pleasing than the terrestrial cellular communication devices. Satellite communication can therefore not compete directly against terrestrial services and must be deployed to supplement, extend, or back up existing terrestrial provision. In fact, an attempt in the 1990s to establish a satellite constellation network such as Iridium to compete with terrestrial cellular phone technologies such as GSM ended in high-profile bankruptcy of the satellite business. Besides service costs and device aesthetics, the round-trip time of data delivered over a satellite link is significantly higher than that of terrestrial-based networks. Users of delay-sensitive voice and video applications will therefore experience a somewhat degraded quality of service via geostationary satellites as responses become perceptibly non-instantaneous due to propagation delays of up to around half a second. This delay will, however, not lead to a reduced broadband capability or data download speed if suitably satellite-optimized network protocols are implemented. What about device power requirements and battery life? A geostationary satellite is typically located at least 36,000 kilometers away from the Earth-based device transmitting to it. This leads to a free space path loss of around 200 dB, in addition to weather and frequency-dependent atmospheric losses. There is therefore a significant demand on device power consumption if the device must connect directly with a satellite without an intermediary. 
passenger devices in trains, airliners, and sea vessels will however be connected to the satellite through a wireless intermediate node. Their power consumption is thus at a level comparable to the use of Wi-Fi hotspots. Satellite systems should therefore seamlessly complement and extend terrestrial networks in order to deliver the same broadband connectivity. A hundred and fifty years of telecoms has only catered to around 40% of our human capacity to experience and interact with information. In fact, most of the ongoing 5G development effort is geared towards delivering faster broadband, which will simply continue the tradition of typically engaging only our senses of sight and hearing. But there are gold mines of information hidden in feeling and smell. So looking beyond 5G, we hope that by year 2040, a mobile 6G network operating under a canopy of interlinked geostationary and non-geostationary satellites will exploit advances in biosensors, touch sensors, and haptic displays to usher in the multisensory internet. This will add tactile and olfactory functionalities to the audiovisual capabilities of today's multimedia internet. It will also usher in limitless and revolutionary applications, particularly in medicine, commerce, entertainment, law enforcement, and more generally in all walks of life. The focus of this future 6G multisensory network will be on true ubiquity and ample speed anytime, anywhere, and will use the most effective means for connection based on location and circumstances. Terabit satellites with capacities up to a thousand gigabits per second should be a reality by then, but satellites will continue to play a complementary and gap-filling niche role. The Earth International Conference on Wireless and Satellite Systems, WISAS 2016, is a premier international forum for new and experienced researchers, developers, and leaders of thought within academia, industry, and regulatory bodies in Europe, North America, and Asia to network together, cross-fertilize ideas, and discuss new work and innovative techniques and solutions that advance the state of the art in wireless and satellite systems. In addition to the main program, the conference will also feature four international workshops on communication applications in smart grid, satellite interference in a 5G world, satellite-enabled intelligent transport systems, and wireless computing and satellite systems security. As a bonus, the conference is being held in beautiful South Wales and the conference dinner will be in the world-famous and historic Cardiff Castle, a venue that has played host to various world leaders and dignitaries.